Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your weekly reading. So Divine Feminine, we're going to look at some overall energy, love, and career messages. So I'm not going to prolong it. Remember, not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. This is timeless, so whenever you click on the video, that is when this message or these messages could resonate with you. For personal reading information or distance Ricky healing, the information is in the description box below. Also, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's get you some overall energies. Spirit, give me some overall messages for the Divine Feminine. Okay. Ooh. So I have strength. Leo energy, 44. For some of you, um, the number 44 could be very significant. You could be 44 for some of you. I heard 40-ish. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at the meaning of strength. So strength, it says, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting task is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections become more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything right now. So yes, okay, so Divine Feminine, with this strength card, this is about you recognizing that your strength, your abilities to continue moving forward comes from a higher source, comes from God, the Divine Um I feel like for a lot of you, you are learning that you do have the ability to overcome challenges, that you can make it. I'm actually hearing the gospel song, so glad I made it, I made it through. So yes, you have made it through. You have been through hardships, struggles, and it's like you may have doubted yourself. You may have not even known that you were that strong. You may have not even known that you were that courageous, but it's like you went through a test, your testing season, and that showed you just how powerful you are, Divine Feminine. So continue to stand in your power. Look how she's holding that world effortlessly. Yeah, you can overcome challenges, situations effortlessly because of your faith, your belief. Let's go ahead and get another message. Spirit, give me another energy for the Divine Feminine. Another energy for the Divine Feminine. What do I have? Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So for some of you, I heard tested. Your relationships may be tested. For some of you, you could be going through a loss, a loss of a connection. And again, that's when that strength comes in. You may not think you can make it through it. You may feel like it's too hard. It's too challenging. You're never going to heal. But God didn't say that. You are going to heal. You are going to make it through. Everything is about time. Each day you get up, it gets easier and easier. And then six months from now, a year from now, you find that you feel better. You, you're enjoying life again. I'm also seeing um, you reevaluating certain connections in your life, friendships, family. Only one of people around you who is really going to benefit you, who want to see you win. And who's not praying on your downfall? Let's get one more overall energy. Give me one more overall energy for the Divine Feminine. Look at this. I am the dreamer of my dreams. So yes, 
you can create the life that you want. It's all up to you. You can dream it, think it into existence. You are the dreamer of your dreams. So you can have whatever you want. I, um, I'm i actually hearing T.I., you can have whatever you like. Literally, yes, you can, Divine Feminine. And I always like to say, you know, the sky is the limit. And there is no limit to the sky. So there is no limit to what you can have. So let's go ahead and get into... Some more energies. Spirit, give me some overall messages, general messages for the divine feminine. What do they need to know at this time? General messages for the divine feminine. Okay. So I have cleanse your space. Give me another message for the divine feminine. What do they need to know at this time? Messages for the divine feminine. What do they need to know at this time? Oh, all right, divine feminine. Level up. Leveling up. You are leveling up in your life. And so, you know, with this cleanse your space, I feel like you just need to clear out your energy, especially anything that's been stagnant. For some of you, there's people sending things your way, you know, <sighs> that are not positive, evil eye, um, praying on your downfall, speaking things into existence or trying to speak things into existence over your life. It's like you just need to do a major cleanse and a major detox of your life overall because with this leveling up, you're going to higher heights. And you know, the higher you go, the more haters you bring with you. So energy clearing is definitely going to be very important for you, Divine Feminine. And then what do I have lastly? <laughs> Termination. You may be getting let go from a job. You're fired. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be letting go of a lot of people. A lot of people, relationships, negative energy, even negative behavior patterns that you have like cleanse your space, termination. This is your season of releasing. For some of you, you may have been like pulling back your energy a lot lately being in hermit let's clarify spirit tell me about cleanse for the divine feminine tell me about cleanse what do i have the queen of pentacles in reverse I feel like for some of you, there are definitely people plotting on your success, like with the full Aquarius energy, like they don't like the fact that you're free, that you take risks, you believe in yourself, you're confident. A lot of these people, um, they're fearful. They operate out of fear. They can't do what you do. They're scared. They don't believe in themselves. They don't possess the knowledge that you possess with the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're really connected to um, the most high. You're really connected to God. You get a lot of downloads. You're very intuitive. You know a lot. You know a lot of information for a lot of you. You've been through a lot. And you have a very giving heart. Very caring. Very nurturing. And I feel like, look at this four of cups. Somebody just stuck looking at what they're lacking. Somebody's a Debbie Downer. Somebody can only focus on the negative while you over here living a good life, focusing on the positive. So that's why you have people who are plotting on you who are jealous. And it's like with this three of wands, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to turn your back to these people, to certain situations. Because it's like with this cleanse your energy, like for a lot of you... The reason why you're not seeing the success that you want to see is because of who you have around you. Money is energy. It's all about, you know, attraction. And what you attract depends on what you have in your space. What are you allowing in your life, in your energy fields? Tell me more about plans for the Divine Feminine. Yep, the Page of Pentacles. 
Yeah, for some of you, it's like people are holding you back from success. They're holding you back from greatness, opportunities. You just need to do a major detox. I feel like for a lot of you, these people, they don't have much to offer. You know, they're unstable. So they want to stop you from moving forward. They want to block you because they're not seeing things work out in their life. So it's like, with this see a cleanse your energy. You really need to take an inventory of who is around you. Let's get some energy for leveling up. Tell me about leveling up for the Divine Feminine. Leveling up for the Divine Feminine. What are we doing? Ooh, Ten of Wands. Oh, yes, to level up, you have to let go. I feel like you are moving on from a situation. <laughs> Moving on from the burdens. And it's like, look at her. Like, she's only taking, you know, a little bit of stuff. She's not taking a whole bunch of stuff. She's not trying to take everything in the bedroom, the living room. No. Some things you're going to have to leave behind. You only going to have to take what's necessary. The necessities. Everything can't go. Because it's like, if you try to take everything... It's just going to weigh you down on your journey. Erica Badu, bag lady. For some of you, you need to go listen to that song. So that's why she only have minimal, minimal items. So she can move how she want to move. And this gives her the opportunity to have a brand new beginning. Not bringing too much stuff from the past with her. Some of you, you leveling up and you still trying to take people from the past with you that you don't already outgrown. You already see their true intentions, but you just don't want to accept it. You have to leave it behind. You can't take the burdens with you. You can't take the leeches with you. You have to leave it. Because you're going to higher heights and not everybody can go that high. It's just like... um. I think in outer space, you know, when you go into outer space or when people have traveled in outer space, you know, um, you know, they need oxygen to be able to breathe, you know, once they get out of the aircraft or spaceship or whatever they call it. <laughs> and it's like with the people you're trying to take, you're trying to take them in the outer space with you, right? But you don't have enough oxygen for them to breathe. And they can't bring their own because they don't have it. They didn't prepare for it. They didn't prepare to go to the next level. They didn't prepare to go with you. They not ready. They still have some things they need to work on. Some things that they need to get together before they can elevate. Some people just not on your level because they still have things they need to work on. So, yeah, you're leveling up, you're growing, but certain things are going to have to fade away. They're going to have to fall by the wayside. Let's get another energy. Tell me more about leveling up for the Divine Feminine. Look at that. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, for some of you, you could be a fire sign or earth, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But that Queen of Wands, look at that. She creates magic. Yes. The Queen of Wands is a true manifester, is a believer. The Queen of Wands have faith. That's why she can... Move the way that she moves. She's not afraid. It's your faith that is taking you far, Divine Feminine. Understanding your power. Believing in the impossible. Believing in the magic that is you. It's like for some of you... You are not going to be able to step into this power of this Queen of Wands until you release the baggage, the burden. 
you're not going to be able to level up until you walk away. Until you let it go. Until you surrender. Once you surrender, then that is when you fully come into your power. And the knowledge thereof. The knowledge of just how much of a manifester you are. Just how much power you do have over your life and your choices. That you're un that you're unstoppable. Tell me about termination. For the divine feminine. I have the star in the reverse in the higher plan. Let me tell you something. Whatever, whatever you have to release, whatever you're being led to release, or whatever you were released from, whoever rejected you, whatever job you lost or whatever job you had to walk away from, whatever friend you had to cut off, whatever family member you had to stop talking to, the star in the reverse and the higher friend in the reverse is telling me that that is divinely orchestrated because whatever you had to let go or whatever let go of you, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant for you. That's why that opportunity didn't work out. That's why things didn't come together. That's why you had to get your heart broken because it wasn't meant for you. Sometimes God had to break your heart to save your life. It wasn't meant. Holding on to things. It's not going to get you far. Holding on to things that's not for you, you won't get far. And see, you do have a purpose. You have a higher calling. Termination. For a lot of you... Those people or situations were not in alignment with you. They were not in alignment with you, with who you are or who you are meant to become. See, it's like when you're hanging around certain people who are low vibrational, it's like you don't really see your light. You don't see your potential. So God say, I need you to release so you can recognize who you are. Um, I just heard get on board. Get on board. It's time for you to get on board. Get on the train. It's getting ready to leave. It's getting ready to depart. God doesn't want you to miss the train. God doesn't want you to miss the opportunities. So that's why he say you have to let it go. Because your future is waiting for you. Your new beginning is waiting for you. I need you to come higher. Thy will shall be done. God's will is going to be done. Even if it's painful. Or it has to be painful. At the end of the day, it's all for your highest good. Termination. You may be getting let go from a job. Somebody may be walking away from you. You may be walking away from someone. But either way, you weren't meant to be there Anyway, you wasn't meant to be there. Higher friend in reverse, the star in the reverse, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so whatever didn't work out, divine feminine, understand it just wasn't meant to be. That's why it didn't work out. Because what God had for you is for you. It's going to work. It's going to flow. It's going to be easy. Even in the midst of the storm, you're going to have peace about the situation. Or you're going to have peace in the situation. Even in the midst of the storm, that's how you know it's for you. Because anything God gives you, it is followed by peace. It comes with peace. That's the gift. Peace is a gift. Peace is priceless. That's how you can test anything, a job, a relationship. Do you have peace where you are? So let's go ahead and get into some love energy.
Spirit, give me some love messages for the Divine Feminine. Love messages. Oh, what do we have, Divine Feminine? Okay, new perspective. So somebody's changing their view on things. Yeah. Somebody could also be pulling back their energy with this introvert and retreat. Yeah. Somebody could not be communicating with somebody. Somebody could have ghosted someone. Somebody just wants to be by themselves. Yeah. Somebody uh gets like stressed out, gets tense with this trigger when they get around a certain energy. Tell me more for the divine feminine. Messages for the divine feminine. Okay, ooh, dating and romance. So for some of you, you could be going into a new partnership. Yeah, a change. This could definitely be a change in your romantic life, your dating life. Intimacy and relax. I feel like whatever is coming in for you, Divine Feminine, like it's going to flow. It's going to be really easy. Like you and this person are really going to be on the same page. Um... And, you know, intimacy is not just, you know, the physical. It's not just about having sex. You know, intimacy is emotional, emotional intimacy, mental in the intimacy, meaning of the minds. Yeah, and then we have dreams. I feel like um, I'm just getting fairy tale. Do you believe in magic? I feel like for a lot of you, you were patient and you didn't settle like you know what you wanted. And you waited. And now it's coming. I'm getting it's right around the corner. And in your waiting, you took time to work on yourself, divine feminine, self-love. You took time to heal. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit, tell me about new perspective for the divine feminine. New perspective for the Divine Feminine. The sign of reverse. So for some of you, this could be you seeing somebody differently, possibly in Aquarius. I feel like for someone like, um, I heard like falling off. You know how somebody fall off? <laughs> Like they say in the music industry, like, uh, you know, your music kind of like fell off. That's kind of like what, how you feel about this person. Like your emotions for this person has fell off. Like you don't feel the same. You don't view this person the same. Yeah. It's like with the sun in the reverse, you're not happy with this person. They don't make you happy. They make you feel some type of way. They make you depressed. They stress you out. Tell me more about new perspective. I have the two of swords and the five of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like um, there is some confusion. I, I feel like this person keeps you in confusion with this two of swords. For some of you, this person could try to keep you in confusion when it comes to the finances. Let's clarify. I'm getting Kanye West Gold Digger. So somebody, um, could be conceited. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could be very conceited and manipulative, trying to keep you confused about money, finances. Somebody wants to be taken care of. Tell me about. The star in the reverse for the divine feminine. This person had you confused about who they really were. This person pretended to be someone that they that they're not. Tell me more about the star in the reverse. The nine of swords in the reverse and the lovers. 
So for some of you, this person wanted you to think like they were your match. They were your divine counterpart. Like with this nine of swords and the lovers, I'm getting like this person wanted you to feel like you met the one. Like they're the one for you. Like finally I've met the right one. I met the person for me. I feel like this person painted a lot of illusions. And as soon as I said that, look what's at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. The moon. There was a lot hidden with this person. They painted a lot of illusions. They presented themselves to be your divine counterpart, but they were not. I feel like with this, everything in, is fine in the reverse. Ten of swords in the reverse. Like, no, everything is not fine. You feel hurt. You feel betrayed by this person. With the ace of swords in the reverse, this person lied. They were not being real. They were not being authentic. Tell me more about the two of swords. This person really tried to keep you in your head about who they were. I'm also getting something about mistaken identity, identity theft. So this person could be a scammer. Tell me about the two of swords. I heard masculine. The two of wands in reverse. So for some of you, like this person made you think they were going to take you places. Y'all was going to grow together. It was going to be lovely. But it turned out to be false. Like y'all weren't going anywhere. You were not going to be able to build anything with this person. There was no future with this person. But they wanted to keep you stuck in your head. Not really seeing the truth. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I cannot make this up. The high priestess in the reverse. Again, they did not want you to see the truth. They wanted your intuition closed off. They did not want you to pick up on who they truly are. Tell me about the five of pentacles in the reverse. The four of pentacles, somebody is in lack right now. And this is a continual lack. You know, this is um, going to last for a while. Like somebody really is going to have to penny pinch and know how to save their money rob peter to pay paul type of energy somebody's really gonna have to develop some good money management skills and i feel like with this queen of swords in reverse and the nine of wands spirit just said take it out on you so this is a type of person that would take their frustrations out on you this person could be very cold um very vindictive spiteful just say anything um, if this person don't get what they want, they can be very cold towards you. But I feel like definitely somebody's having money troubles. And, you know, these are like major money troubles. With this five of pentacles in the reverse, this is like a never ending cycle for someone that they're going to be in for a while. Let's get some energy for romance and dating. Spirit, tell me about romance and dating for the divine feminine. Ooh, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so someone is meeting someone who's very stable. Um, who has their own marriage material. And I just keep looking at this white bunny. Like somebody like... Somebody knows how to invest their money wisely. I'm just getting like good luck charm. Like somebody knows how to take risks. That somebody knows how to take the right risk. Give me some more energy for dating and romance. Somebody knows how to cultivate success. And then I have the king of wands. Wow. So someone is a go-getter. Someone's very action-oriented. This King of Wands is going to go after this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody they view as very stable. This could be a fire sign. Earth sign. Wherever you fall in the story. But it's like this King of Wands is determined to have this Queen of Pentacles. 
Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> and I'm hearing opposites of trad. So yeah, it's like where one person may be like more grounded. The other person, you know, is just more fiery, passionate energy, you know, who is not afraid to take risks. So I just feel like you and this person will balance each other. Opposites attract. I have the hang one. So I feel like this queen of pentacles is very enlightened. Um, this energy definitely thinks things through. This is not somebody who, um, tries to hold on to anything. Like, this person doesn't have any baggage. Like, if it doesn't fit, if it don't work, this energy is just going to let it go. She's not going to hold on to things for a long time. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. The world in the reverse. For some of you, this person could do something online, could have um, a platform. This person could also travel a lot. You and this person could stay at a distance. I feel like somebody um, is thinking about getting you pregnant. Or you're thinking about getting pregnant from someone. Someone wants a baby. Someone wants a family. This person is going to want to start a family with you. Tell me about the King of Wands. Messages for the King of Wands. Two of Cups in reverse. So this King of Wands could have just got out of a relationship. I feel like um, with the Seven of Swords being in the reverse, I feel like this person is going to come in and be very honest. This person is going to be very honest with you. For some of you, with this moon in the in the Knight of Pentacles, this person may be coming in very slow. And I'm just getting like with this moon energy, Pisces, Cancerian energy. Like this person um, is moving in slow because like they're scared to tell you the truth. This could be somebody from your past who you already know or have known. But yeah, somebody's coming in slow out of fear of telling you the truth. Like, this person may have not been honest. There may have been things kept from you, secrets. But now this person wants to come in and be completely honest. Tell me more about the King of Wands for the Divine Feminine. Where do I have? Ooh, the Eight of Swords. So somebody's getting out of their head. Yeah, somebody was stuck in their head, mental prison, their own mental prison, overthinking the situation, not taking any action. But now somebody is ready to take action. Somebody is ready to move forward. This person may be coming in slow, though. They taking their time, Knight of Pentacles. They not trying to rush. I just get an energy of being hesitant. Like this person is hesitant, fear of rejection. This person's thinking like you might not take their offer. Yeah, there's a lot. I heard fear based. There's a lot of fear when it comes to this person coming in and making you an offer. But this page of swords, this person feel like you're going to tell them off. <laughs> yeah, this person feel like you're going to go off on them. That's why they're scared. They feel like you're not going to have anything nice to say or not too many nice words. So that's why they're kind of taking their time. I heard strategize. So they're trying to be strategic about how they approach you. Tell me about change for the Divine Feminine. Judgment. Ooh, okay, Divine Feminine. So things are going in your favor. For some of you, this could be a reconciliation. 
But yeah, this is definitely going to be a change in your relationship status. And then look at this, the fool. Oh yeah, somebody's taking that leap. Aquarius energy, most definitely. Somebody is taking that leap. Somebody's getting ready to come towards you. Somebody wants to invest. And I feel in long term, somebody want to make, make a long term investment when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. For some of you, this could be somebody who missed an opportunity with you in the past, who didn't make you an offer. And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, looking at this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this person thinks about that a lot. Like they think about the fact that they didn't offer to you, they didn't give to you. But now they want to come in and they want to take this lead. They want to fix the situation. Tell me more about change. The Ten of Swords, yeah. You definitely were betrayed. I feel like um, with this judgment, for some of you are in the process of healing. For some of you with the Three of Cups, this could have been a third party situation. But it's like you decided to stop working on things with this person to stop investing into the situation. Let's clarify further. Spirit, tell me more about judgment. For the Divine Feminine. What do I have? The Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone is no longer juggling. I feel like somebody um, has made up their mind. They know what they want to do. They know what they want to invest in. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is definitely a reconciliation. Somebody from your past is coming back. Yeah, I feel like with this nine of cups, I'm just getting the energy of like make them work for it. So I feel like you're definitely not going to make it easy for them, divine feminine. Like you're going to make them work for it. Like they have to earn you. They have to earn your love, earn your time, earn your emotions. Tell me about the ten of swords. The chariot. So somebody's deciding to move on past the hurt, the betrayal, the heartache. Tell me more about this chariot. Cancerian energy. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody from your past is coming back. Like, they're moving right towards you. This is definitely somebody who has betrayed you, who has hurt you. Um, this could also be someone who has gotten out of a relationship where they were heartbroken where they were betrayed and now they want to come back to you i feel like this person see you as somebody who's very successful um somebody that they can establish a life with um i'm also getting with the six of wands and the tower like your success the attention that you get is going to be very shocking that's what i'm getting Somebody's shocked by the amount of by the amount of attention that you get, or you're shocked by this divine feminine. But somebody's definitely going to be getting a lot of attention, a lot of notoriety. You could do something online, but yeah. This is a good tower for you. So let's go ahead and get into some career energy. Spirit, tell me about the Divine Feminist career. The Divine Feminist career. What's going on in the Divine Feminist career? Okay, so I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, 
and the four of wands okay so for some of you i feel like you're definitely finding stability when it comes to your career i feel like with the seven of cups and the nine of cups you definitely know what you want to do you're very confident um when it comes to what it is that you really want to invest in for some of you with this four of pentacles in the reverse and the ten of swords in the reverse you could be healing from some type of financial challenges difficulties there could have been some financial constraints when it comes to your stability. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles in the reverse for the Divine Feminine. Okay, what do I have? The Hermit in the reverse, okay. I just heard public speaking. For some of you, you may do something in public speaking. I feel like with this devil and temperance at the bottom of the deck, like I'm just getting a healthy balance. Like you have a healthy balance of your um, light and shadow side when it comes to your energy. But somebody does something in public speaking. Or is going to be making money off of a public speaking gig. That's what I heard, gig. So somebody could be performing somewhere, speaking somewhere, speaking engagement, but somebody's going to be getting paid. Tell me more for the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, somebody definitely went through a lot of hardship when it comes to their finances. Yeah, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there wasn't much coming in. I feel like for some of you, um, you could have also taken a loss when it comes to your business. Your business may have not been doing good. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Or the Divine Feminine. Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. Okay, so somebody um, is stuck. Don't know what to do, which way to turn. Somebody feels like there's no way out. Somebody feels like they can't find a solution to a situation, but there is a solution. The sun and the queen of wands at the reverse. And the two of pentacles, you have options, divine feminine. Yes. I feel like you need to tap into your queen of wands energy and move forward like getting your go-getter energy because i feel like whatever it is that you're desiring to do is going to make you very happy it's going to be very successful it's like for some of you i heard multiple streams of income you may be creating multiple streams of income for yourself but it's like with this two of pentacles you have a lot of things that you could do you're very creative you have a lot of good ideas you just need to put them to work you need to take action Cause you're going to be very surprised at just how well things work out for you yeah the high priestess you need to trust your intuition you're being led god is giving you the ideas you just have to get out of your mental prison and be willing to move forward be willing to put in the work tell me more about this ten of swords in the reverse for the divine feminine ten of swords in the reverse the Six of Swords. Yeah, so for some of you, you're being led away from a situation. But it's like you're scared. Yeah, you're scared. You could be healing from some type of job loss. But it's like you're scared of the unknown. But you're being guided. You're being carried. But it's just like, I don't know what's next. Divine Feminine, you're never going to know what's next. It's a part of life. It's a part of life. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. The sun. I feel like whatever this is, um... That you just came out of what it did was illuminate your fears 
that's what happened. It shed light on your fears. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Some of you are afraid to move on. Are afraid to trust. I heard ye a little faith. Tell me more about the Six of Swords for the Divine Feminine. Six of Swords for the Divine Feminine. Knight of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, I heard like lack of direction. So you feel like by you leaving a situation or by some about a situation ending, it's like you you don't know what direction to go in or you're questioning the direction that you're taking. Like you're just, again, uncertainty. It's like this situation is illuminating your fears, but this is divinely orchestrated because God wants you to learn how to work through your fears. That's what's going to be the key to your success, Divine Feminine. You working through your fears, through your anxiety. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Because God is here, the Six of Swords. Spirit is here, Spirit is with you. But it's you, it's your own mental prison. Tell me more about this Four of Wands for the Divine Feminine. Temperance, come on. Because it's going to balance out in the end. It's going to balance out in the end. We have Leo, Sagittarius. It's going to balance out for you. Your angels are here. You're being led. For some of you, I'm getting building a business. You may actually be building your own your own business. I heard online. I'm also hearing brick and mortar. Yeah, I'm also hearing a coffee shop. Like you're being guided. You're being led. You will regain your stability. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, because for some of you, things have been slow, have been stagnant. There hasn't been much coming in. For someone, you've been out of work. There hasn't been any hope inside for you, or you felt that way. You felt like, you know, there was never going to be anything to come your way. Let's get another energy for this four of wands. I can't believe the star. For some of you, you're doing something online. You have an online business. But things are balancing out when it comes to your business. It comes to your company. I heard entrepreneur. For someone, you're an entrepreneur. You are the business. You are the company. You are the brand. For some of you, I heard modeling, modeling contract. I heard looks. There's something that you do when it comes to your looks. But things are balancing out. Like, you're safe. I heard safe in his arms. For some of you, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. A lot of notoriety. But it's like with this temperance, I'm just getting divine time. Yes. This is all about divine timing. Because somebody's scared, somebody's fearful, somebody's in their head. But things are going to work out in the end. You're going to be stable. You're going to be successful. But it's all about the right timing. You just have to be patient. Yeah. Somebody's in hangman. Pisces. Somebody's in hangman. God had you in hangman for a reason. There's still some things that you need to learn. There's still some more evolution that you need to go through. Because see, this next chapter of your life is going to be amazing. You're going places that you've never been before. You're seeing success that you've never seen before. So take this time to learn. Take this time to reflect. Take this time to work through your fears. Because look at what's at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Stability is here. Financial freedom, independence is here. Happiness is here. You are going to be fulfilled on all levels. Emotional, financial, spiritual. For some of you, you may have a spiritual career. Do something in spirituality, divination. But everything is working out. You're on the right path. Six of Swords, 
You are being guided. You are being led, Divine Feminine. So let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me a final message for the Divine Feminine. Final message for the Divine Feminine. What do I have? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Yes. For some of you, this is going to lead to marriage. This new relationship. But you definitely have a new connection coming in. That's going to lead to a higher level of commitment. I'm also getting light scales are definitely balancing out in your favor. I feel like for some of you, I'm just getting all at once. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you, it's like you're going to get into a new relationship. Your business is going to take off. You're going to buy a new house. It's just going to be one thing after another. Good news, good news on top of more good news. You're entering into a very abundant cycle. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So definitely take some time out to be in hangman. Meditate, think. Embrace enlightenment. Become more aware. Let's pull one more. Spirit, give me one more overall energy for the Divine Feminine. One more energy for the Divine Feminine. God is within her. She will not fall. Come on, Divine Feminine. What? Psalm 46.5. God is within her. She will not fall. So divine feminine, God is within you and you will not fall. God is within you. God's all around you. Going back to the six of swords, you're being guided. You will not fall. You may feel like you're going to fall. You may feel like you're not going to land on solid ground, but you are. You're being carried. You're being led. You're on the right path. Because you carry God with you. Um, I'm getting a gospel song. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. He's with you everywhere you go. And you shall not fall nor fail. So Divine Feminine, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.